Hi everyone, this is Margaret Manning with Boomerly. I am a collector of bags. I love collecting handbags. I have a, a lot of them in my, in my wardrobe. And uh, I've never actually bought a really expensive handbag. I don't think expensive handbags can actually change your life. So I'm not a, a designer collector, but I do love bags. And it occurred to me that they actually symbolize the different parts of my personality. And I think it's really interesting to think about the six amazing bags that every woman over 50 should have. So the first one is my gym bag. And this is one that I'm particularly proud of because I actually don't like to work out. I don't like the gym very much, but I have, um, con no, I'm not convinced, I have educated myself over the last year how important it is to have, you know, a strong body and to feel fit and, um, you know, to try to exercise, you know, th four times, three or four times a week if possible, but to do it consistently. And my gym bag just sits by my desk and I just, you know, really, it reminds me of a strong me. It reminds me of, the, the person that I always want to be, you know, healthy and strong. The second bag that I think everyone should have is a backpack, a rugged backpack. You know, one that is sturdy enough to put all your, um, you know, your walking gear, your your bottled water, your, your you know, your good sturdy clothes, so that you can just go off and explore and have the freedom to, you know, to, to really and limit yourself to the essentials, you know, to the things that really matter. And I do try when I travel actually to have a, a backpack and use a backpack instead of a wheeled uh, suitcase. And it gives you that feeling of confidence and curiosity that I think is uh, really, really valuable. The third bag is the category that I have a lot of. <laughs> and these are colorful totes, a tote bag. And I have got them from everywhere in the world, um, you know, colorful flowers, you know, designs, um, you know, just plain leather ones. And I just love them because they are a way to express my personality. And they, you know, they enable me to just stuff them with, you know, I don't know, towels if I'm going to the beach or, or you know, just work, uh, work out clothes if I'm going out, you know, out somewhere and just and be able to put my books and my, um, and my computer, all kinds of things in there. It's like my, it's like my global bag and, and my tote bag can be in every color under the sun and it can reflect all the different aspects of my personality. It's, it's just expressive and, and fun. Everyone needs a really great tote or many of them, tote bags. The other thing is a leather laptop bag, and I, I do actually have one of these. I have a couple, and these are the bags for my, my, my work. When I go to a meeting or when I want to put my, you know, my computer, my um, iPad, my books, my papers, um, chargers, <laughs> converters, all those things that you need when you're, when you're uh, an entrepreneur and having to meet with people and wanting it all in the same place, paper clips, <laughs> pens, things that you need to, to really be professional and put together and you know just to fight ageism to show that you are you know you're working and being productive and just having fun um, in your 50s and 60s um, with with the work experience so I think a laptop bag is really important another one is a sexy shoulder bag I have a couple of these and I have some that like have a handle um, that then you have another um, uh, strap that you can use um, if you're you know going to the opera or to the theater and you don't want to take a lot of stuff but you want your lipstick and maybe a little bit of makeup and a little snack or maybe even a bottle of water but something that's sparkly and sexy and fun that just makes you feel like you know that you're that you care about how you look and that you've bought a beautiful dress or you've got some you know a nice sparkly scarf and the bag just goes perfectly with that so a sexy shoulder bag is, is great sparkly one and then a clutch a, a, a clutch bag and that can be sparkly too but um a clutch bag for me is one that you know where you don't want the bag to be the thing you know where you want it to be an expression of your freedom to just go somewhere with the minimum of stuff your credit card your lipstick your you know and just shine <laughs> it's your shine bag i just think every woman needs one of those as well and those really are my six bags. I have, a, I probably have, you know, 10 times that amount, but I, those are the categories I think are important for everyone. So which one is most important to you? So for the women that are watching, um, do you have all these six bags? Which is your favorite? And for the men that are listening, when you look at a woman, I'm assuming that, you know, you may notice their clothes, <laughs> which is your favorite bag? What, what, which, and what do you associate with bags? Was my assessment correct? Is, is that what you think of when you see those bags? 
be really interested to know. Anyway, it's all good fun. Uh, the most important thing is to enjoy your bags, whatever, you know, wherever you are. And, uh, you know, go to the website, check out the, the, um, the article. And there's some great pictures, by the way, on the website of, of bags that I think you'll enjoy. And um, just you know, make, it, make it fun. I'd love your, your opinion and your thoughts. And uh, let's start a conversation. Thanks, everyone.